my name is Michael Lopiano. Uh, I'm a fifth year PhD student at Yale University in History and Renaissance Studies. Uh, I'm here receiving a research grant from the Fulbright Commission in order to undergo research for my dissertation. Um, I work on uh, the intellectual history of the Renaissance here in Poland and Central Europe uh, and uh, broadly work on uh, Renaissance humanism. Poland came about for me by way of learning about the Renaissance. Uh, I started learning about Renaissance humanism as an undergraduate at Johns Hopkins University, um, where I studied also history, but also Italian literature. Uh, and I was fascinated to learn about how um, pre-modern and early modern Europe had so incorporated Latin as an administrative, literary, and liturgical language into um, sort of the international um, community at the time and how that bound the region together uh, historically and culturally. Uh, my typical day starts um, well in my apartment. I get up. Um, uh, depending on the day, sometimes I'll go for a run, sometimes I'll go to the gym, do, do some physical activity earlier in the morning. Um, and uh, then I go to the library. Depending on the day, I might stop by the institute to uh, talk to my promoto, to talk to um, my, my sponsors there. Um, and uh, then generally from maybe about 10 o'clock until 8.45, essentially when the library closes, um, I'm there, I uh, have lunch there, I work, I, I send emails to my advisors We back in the U.S. We talk about my project, um, and especially this semester I've been doing a lot of writing. Uh, so last semester I did a lot of looking through catalogs, figuring out what actually is, is in the library that I can use for sources, uh, and this semester is more taking those sources and taking my notes um, and putting them into my first dissertation chapter. I would say in terms of my expectations, since I had come to Poland for a few months to start learning Polish, um, two years before the grant start, um, I got exposed to what, to, to what Poland would look like, got exposed to sort of how um, uh, Polish people are, so I was, um, perhaps unlike some other people who had not been here, I knew that I could expect Polish people in general to be very, very welcoming. Um, I think more than, than any other country that... Uh, that I've been in. Um, here, not only is hospitality uh, in general at a very um, high level, but uh, there's also a very welcoming environment, especially for, for an American who is interested in Polish history, who's learning Polish, who speaks Polish. Um, it's, it's, a, it's really a unique um, experience, I would say, in the world to, to have uh, someone say, we're so, we're so glad you're here, like, whatever we can do to help, please let us know. I would say just you know go for it. Come up, come up with a project. Um, just show show passion, show show a willingness to be able to um, to engage. I, know I would definitely encourage um, students to apply um, to Poland to not be afraid to go somewhere that's maybe um, off the beaten path a little bit as far as the typical application goes. Um, so yeah, go go for it. Go after go do a project that that inspires you. Come do it here, I would say. Um, I think uh, most people would be very surprised at, at, the, at the level of welcome that they receive being here.